what's going on? It's Tobias with Fresh Holistics. I want to talk about leaky gut syndrome or what's scientifically known as intestinal permeability. Uh, I really want to focus on the relationship between the gut integrity and food intolerances and how they connect. Um, basically what leaky gut syndrome is, is when the cells of the gut lining start to separate. And when that separation happens, undigested food particles, bacteria, and other substances can actually get into the circulation, which causes lots of problems. Um, some of the common problems that we see are some GI problems, some gastrointestinal problems, so gas, bloating, bowel dysregularities. Um, obviously, digestion is going to be inhibited, so you're not going to be able to metabolize, assimilate, and absorb the nutrition that we want. Uh, this process is also going to stimulate and overactivate the immune system. Um, which could cause lots and lots of problems. It's going to affect the detox pathways, which puts a huge burden on the liver, the skin, other pathways. Um, there's other signs and symptoms that are going to occur. Uh, the body is a complex system, so if the gut's affected, then it's going to affect the other systems within the body and cause problems. So let's look a little bit deeper at what exactly uh, leaky gut syndrome is and how it works. So, hence leaky gut, we're going to focus mainly on the small intestines and the large intestines. Uh, we're going to look into the actual intestinal lining and the barrier that's protecting everything. So, this representation is actually the small intestinal lining. We're actually going to focus just on the small intestine. The large intestine looks very similar, so this should give us a good idea of what's going on. Um, right here you have the, vi uh, the villi and then inside the microvilli of the small intestine. So on a deeper level, you can actually see the barrier right here. Uh, the barrier is actually held together by tight junctions um, within the cells. And when the body is under inflammation and irritation within the gut, which is caused by a lot of different things that I'll talk about, um, that I'll you know, be highlighted here, we actually start to get some separation so during inflammation, it starts to separate and you create these gaps. And once those gaps are formed, uh, undigested food particles, bacteria, and other substances can get into the circulation. All of a sudden, the immune system starts to kick on because the immune system thinks that these particles are foreign invaders and it wants to take care of the debris. So by doing that, it sends out antibodies, cytokines, leukocytes, other substances that actually start to stimulate the immune system so that it can take care of this debris. What happens is this debris starts to get eventually identified as a food intolerance, especially with specific foods. Um, those digest undigested food particles are usually very, very specific to the immune system at first, but as we get more and more um, immune reactions, you get more inflammation and then eventually the um, food sensitivity or intolerance can actually get broader, um, which means that you can actually get more and more food intolerances to different types of food, which is not a good thing. Um, so if you have food intolerances, we definitely have to identify that because that's going to perpetuate the system, cause more inflammation, and take us down even deeper. But we want to look at exactly what causes the leaky gut to begin with. So most of the time, these five factors are the things that I think are super important. Stress, chronic stress is going to be huge as far as what's happening um, with that system if we're overly stressed, um, that's going to be really damaging to the gut lining. Uh, so obviously we've got to balance stress. Nutritional factors, yes, we do have to identify the food intolerances. So if that's you know making sure that we're tracking the food via food logs, looking at signs and symptoms, um, going on an elimination diet, um, or going on at least a rotational diet. If you're familiar with Paul Check's work um, through his book, How Do You Move and Be Healthy, he talks about the rotational diet. Um, another one is quality of food. So if you're not eating organic food, there's going to be lots of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, synthetic chemicals um, that are really destructive to the gut lining that you, you know, it's going to cause problems. Um, the next one is if you're not balancing your blood sugar, uh, that's going to cause a lot of stress too. We're going to be secreting a lot of cortisol and adrenaline to actually deal with those blood sugar handling problems and that's going to cause 
um, us to go in the wrong direction. Dysbiosis, so if we have an imbalance between good bacteria and bad bacteria, usually the ideal ratio is 85% good bacteria to 15% bad bacteria. Um, but if it's flipped or we have a bad ratio, then that can cause problems. Uh, another thing, just a, a sub um, category would be like fungus and parasite infections are highly damaging and that will cause lots of um, problems. We need to identify those. Medical drugs, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, corticosteroids, antibiotics, uh, even the birth control pill, that's all damaging to the gut lining. Last one is alcohol. So alcohol is highly inflammatory, highly irritating, um, it's highly you know, toxic as far as putting a huge burden on the liver. So alcohol is, you know, not what we want as far as being a solution. Um, so what we've really got to consider is taking a holistic approach. We need to, yes, identify the food intolerances, but also realize that that's not really creating the problem in the first place. What's creating the problem is these things. We need to identify the root cause. Is the root cause, you know, stress? What type of stress um, do you need? Do we need to take a questionnaire? I usually do questionnaires with my clients to find out exactly where their stress is the highest so then I can really focus on what they need to work on. Um, is it nutritional issues? Is it um, gut bacteria? Is it alcohol, drugs, etc.? So you have to take a holistic approach and you know, identify exactly what's going on and not just think, oh, I'm going to eliminate gluten and everything's going to be fine. Um, so. We need to get to the root cause and figure out exactly what's going on. So, I hope you guys learned something. If you've got any questions, check us out, freshholistics.com. Peace.